it is very difficult um, because the area of privacy... I mean, on the one hand, there's this big debate about how important is privacy to consumers. And have you ever not accepted when you get onto a website and you're asked to accept? I have, actually, and I've tried to tick all the boxes. Which one? There are so many of them. Well, there's no, about but... 50 options you have to untick sometimes. Well, very few people I've talked to, right, and this is a random sample, uh, take, that take, take that view. So, but there is a real problem, brand safety, political invasion, fake news, all of the things that we're... And the pressure that all the big, the big three... Google, Facebook, Amazon, and even in China. I mean, Tencent and Alibaba, it's, it's really interesting. The administration at a national, federal, and at a local level in China is just as worried about the control of the data that Tencent and Alibaba has. It's right. not just about games on Tencent. It's deeper than that. They are worried about control, privacy, and, and the consumer reaction to it. So it is an issue. When Facebook says they are concerned about privacy, uh, clients are looking at that and they want access to data that helps them, not in invasive, but helpful. I mean, it, there's no point in being invasive with consumers or being objectionable or providing them with, you know, peppering them with requests at the inappropriate time. Mm. But if they are making decisions, if they do have likes that can be appealed to by better targeting, that's increasingly important. So getting the balance right is going to be very difficult and the more that Google, Facebook, and Amazon in particular say that they, privacy is preventing them from sharing the data, the more that will drive our clients to be concerned about the walled gardens and develop first-party data and make the model that I'm talking about, I think, even more relevant. Thank you for watching. And for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.